something from deep state Obama crony and now she is forced to resign. The Federal Reserve enormously affects our money-related lives. It likewise moves a plenitude of wild paranoid fears, halfway in light of the fact that its founding was covered in much mystery. For the individuals who are not acquainted with the story, duck hunting trips normally don't eventuate in national banks. However, our Federal Reserve was planned a little more than 100 years back amid a meeting of intense saving money and political premiums. What's more, this was directed under the front of, truly, an imaginary duck hunting trip. The director of the Federal Reserve is appointed by the President and must be confirmed by the Senate. Janet Yellen right now serves in that position. Furthermore, it is one of awesome power. Notice that business sectors are moved because of what the executive of the Fed says. In fact, when a declaration by the executive or by the Fed itself is approaching, the budgetary world nearly delays and holds its aggregate breath as it holds up. Simply this reality alone raises doubt about whether an institution with such huge, to a great extent unaccountable power has a place in a free society. The snappy answer? It doesn't. President Trump has nominated Jerome Powell to fill in as the next Fed chairman. Mrs. Yellen, an Obama appointee, has presented her resignation from the board effective when Powell is confirmed. This is unordinary in that Fed chairpersons commonly serve out their terms on the board of governors. Yellen's lapses in February of 2018. Federal Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen announced Monday that she will resign from her post as one of the Fed's Board of Governors once President Donald Trump's pick to replace her is sworn in, the Wall Street Journal reports. I am gratified that the financial system is much stronger than a decade ago, better able to withstand future bouts of instability and continue supporting the economic aspirations of American families and businesses, the chairwoman wrote in a resignation letter to Trump Monday. I am also gratified by the substantial improvement in the economy since the crisis. Yellen's announcement deviates a bit from the long-standing precedent of Fed chairs stepping down from the Board of Governors once their terms have officially ended. Regardless of all the consideration given to the difference in authority at the Fed, little change in policy is normal under Mr. Powell. He nearly reflects Mrs. Yellen with one conceivable exemption. Powell is expected to continue Yellen's interest rate policies, but is highly expected to following Trump's deregulatory push when it comes to regulating major banks and financial houses. It will enthusiasm to perceive what course any such deregulation takes. The absence of control was reprimanded for it.